and welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today I'm here hoping to help you guys with all your stuttering issues with X-Plane 12, 11, Microsoft Light Simulator, and any other game that you're uh, playing or any simulator that you're, you're driving or flying that's giving you a bit of grief because you've got pretty good frame rates but it's still stuttering a lot and it's and it's just not a good experience is it so there are some different things that we can do but I wanted to show you first the different options that you have so on the very left we've got mid graphic settings okay and this gave me in VR this is all flown in VR uh, a pretty nice experience it was pretty nice and smooth this is default graphics and everything it was set sort of mid-level getting nice frames at 40 frames per second and you can see the number next to it which is the one I want you to concentrate on please and that is your frame times okay that's how long it takes for the CPU and the GPU to develop one frame for you to see now you can see that that one does jump around a little bit it's uh, it's staying in the 20s just touch 30 on a couple of occasions but it's generally in the 20s it has a bit more of a trouble as you roll and uh, and you trans translate around the the scenery in front of you so it has a little bit more work to do but you can see good frames and generally a good experience at that level now if we have a look at the max graphic settings the middle middle one you can see that we're in the 30s high 20s in the frames but you can see that the frame time is jumping from 23 to 49 maybe even 50 it's it's jumping such a huge way the experience you get in the headset is just a juddering mess to be honest it's terrible okay and it's just unacceptable and and I'm sure a lot of this stuff will get fixed as performance enhancements come into X-Plane 12 it depends what you know what you're playing or flying and what you're trying to achieve so and you can take as I say you can take this out and use it on any game that you you're playing out there first person shooters this information remains true okay now we have a look on the right hand side now you can see that what I've done there is I've locked the frame rates to 20 and you might think, oh no, 20. But in, in a flight simulator like X-Plane and even Microsoft Flight Simulator, a, uh, a low frame rate is still pretty acceptable and, uh, and actually is more than the norm. You just don't see 50, 60 frames per second a lot of the time in these flight simulators because they demand so much of the system. But what you can also see there is although it's a higher number, it's nearly locked steady at 50 milliseconds a frame. The system has got lots of time to generate each frame and I could probably lift the frame rate a little bit and uh, and you can you could do that you could tune it you could lift it up to 21, 22, 23, 25 and then just see how that frame rate millisecond time on the right hand side of the FPS changes. At the moment it's obviously having a pretty good time it's not having much of a drama I noticed on a couple of spots doing this single circuit that I did in each of these this is manually flown so that I can't lock them up so they will look beautifully perfect it's just a bit hard and playing a, uh, a replay I'm not sure whether that's as accurate as an example but you can see the differences between each different scenario so on the left medium settings really good experience yes you can fly with it yes you could be happy with it but if you want more you can try with the max settings and this is everything maxed with the exception of the anti-aliasing which is at 2x it would just kill it at 4 but at 2x it looks pretty good in VR and I've got an Oculus Rift my system is a 5600x 32 gig of 3200 megahertz RAM 3070 graphics card NVIDIA 3070 so um, you know it's not bad so again on the right so what I'm going to do in a moment I'm going to show you two options that you can try and use the first option as far as I'm aware 
doesn't actually work so you can go ahead and use nvidia control panel it has options there to restrict your frames per second but i've tried to use it it doesn't work i've looked on the forums and people also say it doesn't work so if that doesn't work then i'm going to show it to you because maybe there'll be a change somewhere and then it does start to work or if you do it on the specific game maybe it will it will work but this is your 3d setting so i'm going to take it for granted that you know where to find this normally down on your bottom right hand corner with all your all your other programs that are running in the background you can just roll it down max frame rate turn it on and then select a frame rate that you'd want now i would have left it at 20 but i've actually done this uh, i've saved it at 20 fps saved it at 25 fps and when i was getting 40 fps in x-plane 12 it it just never changed so it, it obviously doesn't work there's obviously an issue between it it may work on some other games or simulators but it doesn't work certainly with x-plane 12. so the next thing we've got is msi afterburner so with the msi afterburner you can hit the little cog that's on the left hand side there it was a little bit quick go to the display settings hit more and then that brings up this little item that you can see down the bottom here now what you can do with that is that you can save save it for each particular game so you can find the exe in the in this case so you go add you get an option you can find the um XC program for your sim like x-plane 12 in this case and then over on the right hand side you can see a couple of boxes and you can just click on those and you can make them uh, whatever you would like them to be in this case i've gone for 20 20 frames per second and that's all you need to do close it all down and you'll see that your frame rate comes back to 20 fps as you do that okay so that is the simplest thing you can do msi afterburner go there and uh, just make go to the cog on the very left hand side it'll get you into the settings for the server side of things and just follow the way through that i went to get to your display settings and then you'll go to more and then you can you'll see it on the right hand side fps limiter and you can select whatever you like so i hope that helps you guys it has helped me it's doing a great job for me and uh, if you've got any questions or you need any more help, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know down below. Did it help you or not? Are you finally getting a bit of experience? Would love to hear from you. So if you do that for me, that'd be awesome. And as always, forget don't forget to subscribe and like. And I'll catch you back here at Let's Fly VFR again real soon.